Hi, my name is Anton Rockman and I'm a practicing designer, founder and design director of Baume Design Solutions. And today I'm participating in Industrial Design 7 Questions Challenge. This challenge was started by Jimmy Design and I got an invitation to be part of this challenge from Morna, Design Plus Morna. You can find links on all uh, videos below. Uh, and uh, today it's my pleasure to close this challenge with, uh, with my part. I hope you, uh, you enjoy and got different perspective uh, about product and industrial design. Uh, you're welcome to visit my channel to see some design related videos and especially about professional sketching. Also, you can find links below in, on my Instagram and uh, website of uh, Wallmy Design uh, Consulting. So, let's start. Okay, question number one. Industrial design is a, a very uncommon field. How did you discover it? Uh, actually, actually, I don't remember how I discovered it. Is it, it came to me almost naturally. I was born in, uh, in two generation architect family and always uh, I, I was surrounded uh, with the tools, books, technical drawings, architectural drawings and the general atmosphere of architecture studio. From the early age I, I, went, I went to the art school to study academic uh, classic drawing and uh, at the beginning it was my, my hobby first. Uh, and then became my, my obsession, yeah. I started to, to, to draw and imagine new stuff uh, like, a, like a cars, robots and airplanes, you know, the guy stuff. At the age seven, actually, I already knew that I want to design cars uh, and probably to be designer, yeah. It's quite a common way for many, many of us guys uh, who are dreaming about Porsches and Ferraris to be a car designer. Later on, I discovered the industrial design. It's not only the cars, it's much more. Uh, and uh, as a teenager, I took a bold decision not to be an architect at my parents and uh, uh, went to my own way to study industrial design. Question number two. How do you explain your job to those who don't know about ID or industrial design? Yeah, this is a good one. Very common question. So usually I'm uh, playing kind of a game by asking uh, other questions. Uh, for example, what do you see? around us, what kind of object uh, uh, you see, if it's a chair, lamp, microphone, uh, glasses, uh, pens, wh whatever. Uh, what do you think? Who made them? Or who taught to manufacture, how to make them, what kind of material to use, uh, uh, etc. So you see, I say, behind each object, uh, that we that surround us, there is a person who invented, designed, and engineered this product. Uh, things are not just popping out from from nowhere and going uh, to the shelf in a, in a shop. Yeah. So I'm uh, the one hidden person behind those products uh, or objects. Uh, who, uh, who invent, design, and engineer uh, some of uh, the products. Uh, this this my my simple explanation. So I'm I'm always trying to uh, to play this mini e educational session with uh, with the people who who ask uh, this this type of questions. Question number three. Number three, okay. What inspirations have developed your ID style? Hmm. I don't think I have any specific style as uh, I'm working with many different uh, uh, 
product requirements in different fields, industrial fields. Uh, so I believe product designer, it's a sort of translator between the user, manufacturer, market or business. So there are no place for personal attachment. Industrial design is not an art where the artist expressing himself, his ideas or manifests through the, his or her artwork. Uh, industrial design is not personal message. It's a translation of product or service requirements into the usable object or service. Yeah, so there may be just a little space for your personal style as a, as a designer. Uh, but uh, if we are talking about my personal style, if I think there's some, some of it came straight out of my, my education, uh, design academia that uh, I studied, uh, where I studied, uh, because the, that academia has uh, deep roots with the, with the Bauhaus. Many years ago, uh, the teachers uh, came to and organized this academia in uh, 1939. Uh, they came from Germany to, to Palestine, uh, today is Israel, and uh, they uh, established uh, uh, Academia Bezalel uh, of Art and Design. And uh, as I said, the, the roots came from, from Bauhaus style. Uh, and uh, after this Bauhaus kind of injection of form follows function, uh, I felt uh, in love uh, with the uh, practicality, honest with materials, usage of materials, and of course minimalism that came from those two. Uh, today, today I'm trying to, to mix, uh, mix and match different styles uh, and, and trends, of course. Um, but uh, for me, it's always the if if you're talking about the style, style we came from uh, from the requirements, uh, from the function, from the material, and of course uh, user requirements. So yeah, this uh, my my inspiration, my ID style. Question number four: Which company would you love to design a product for? Hmm. Okay. Uh, I believe that uh, this question is not 100% correct, at least for me, uh, because uh, we designing products for, for people and not for companies or brands. So I would say I would like to collaborate with a company to design their product for specific markets, cultures and, and, and people. Uh, so, mm, during my career, I work uh, with a number of different companies and uh, in different fields. And uh, all those projects that I made are similar in, uh, in one way. They combine a number of materials, uh, manufacturing methods and uh, technologies. I was uh, really uh, lucky to work with the pioneers of, uh, of the industry and gain uh, the knowledge of how to combine hard, soft and smart materials. And uh, today, uh, today you can find many examples, many different companies and brands doing this stuff. Uh, combining those type of materials, especially in the uh, in, uh, acoustic industry, uh, in smart variable industries, uh, who uh, those brands or companies, they, 
they're creating objects uh, by, by using this combination of uh, heart uh, as a kind of skeleton, uh, soft, uh, uh, soft part and, and smart, uh, smart materials as well. I think uh, if, again, back to the question, uh, what the company I would uh, like to design, uh, I think it will be Bank and Olsen brand. Uh, they're doing uh, exceptional work uh, by using uh, high-end technology, all the, uh, all the new materials and combining uh, things in an uh, amazing way, amazing way. Of course, uh, there are quite obvious uh, things like, uh, like uh, Apple, Nike, Adidas, uh, Tesla, uh, and uh, many, many more. Uh, I hope one day uh, I will have uh, this opportunity. Okay, question number five. What is your go-to industrial design program and why? Um, as I mentioned before, I'm practicing modeling theory uh, or triple F form for this function. And the best tool today to implement this in the 3D space is the SOLIDWORKS, for me at least. Uh, um, I like uh, to call my, my method uh, of, of designing uh, products inside out. When you design internal components first as a, as a structure, uh, like a skeleton first, and then the tailoring and the wrapping for with the, with the right uh, suit on top. So the shape and style are purely based on the form of the skeleton. And the best way, as a, as a save for me, uh, to build this assembly to change uh, uh, to change parts uh, quickly and easily, it's a, it's a solid box. Of course, uh, uh, my team uh, we are working on using different type of uh, softwares, uh, parallel with SolidWorks, the Fusion 360, Rhino, and uh, and others. But personally, but personally, I prefer SolidWorks as a old school industrial design. The question number six, six, uh, what do you dislike, dislike most about industrial design? I think if you don't like something, you shouldn't do it first. For me, it's uh, difficult to point uh, out to point out what I dislike most. Uh, sometimes there are some challenges that uh, uh, that need to be solved with uh, with uh, over cross disciplines. Uh, uh, different uh, suppliers, manufacturers, or even clients. Uh, sometimes it takes more time as you planned, and yeah. it's really eating your your soul, that more than it should be. But this is a part of uh, of the game that I choose to play. Uh, so wait a minute. Maybe what I dislike most that it's very difficult, very difficult and almost impossible to do all the interesting stuff by yourself. Or maybe that uh, I can be in different places, places, uh, projects at the same time and need to prioritize which project, which kind of direction is most valuable for, for me or for, for business. Yeah, this, this is difficult. Uh, but I guess most disliked part is we have limited time. Limited time and not always uh, uh, the budget allowing us to, to check all, all the options, all possibilities, all directions that uh, I would like to, to, to explore. Uh, for getting the, the, the best results, uh, but uh, we're doing our best. Okay, question number seven, finally, number seven, my favorite number. What makes an industrial design good? Okay, 
with my ex. Industrial design is good when the company who asks to design you something is achieving the sales projections. Number one, when the product has a smart and clean uh, lifespan with a minimum impact on environment. And when the user want to keep uh, to keep the product as a desirable object for years, so it's 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 timeless. Uh, when uh, when we have some relationship with the object, and it give us good feelings. Uh, so I think it based on some uh, sort of wow effect wow effect uh, that uh, adding emotional value to the functional and smartly made product so some magic touch uh, should be there so these uh, things uh, i believe making industrial design good or product design